place that will right up in here. Oh, we yeah. talked about this. Uh, we did talk about this. I gotta be careful. I can't be knocking the mic over mid show. True. You just can't. You're gonna have to stay there. Freeze up. Don't talk. Just you. Just frozen in place for an hour. <laughs> be funny. What would you say? You'd take all the time. You'd just talk. I would have to. I'd have free. to. I would have to take the reins. Or okay. Phil <laughs> Phillips take over his own podcast. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to unbreak you through conversation like just little by little as I keep talking you get you just get more and more loose <laughs> keep talking Phil <laughs> I'm almost there that's fine bust out a whole new chase <laughs> chrysalis that's so funny so uh Welcome back to PCP, the Phil and Chase podcast. What's going uh, on, guys? I'm uh, I'm Chase Todd. I'm Philip Hazen. Right. I wasn't gonna say my last name to be honest with you. No, we're hiding no, it now. It's gonna be Phil. I'll have to cut that out. We're on a first name basis now. Yeah, I we're like just Phil and three Chase. Three episodes in. We're There's at least two hundred of you that were just Phil and Chase. For sure. Household name in the making. Heck yeah! <laughs> if it's not already. You know. If it's not already, true, true common name a little bit we're, we're legends in some uh, areas of the world some some very uh, small percentage when you look at the whole so, world so it'll be global global takeover so yeah episode three uh october is over it's behind us uh and we are now in woovember <coughs> yep yep woovember awkward segue November, we went on a, a, a buddy of mine's radio show last night and co-hosted uh, on, uh, let me get this right, um, 90.1 WEFT, um, co-hosted uh, with my boy uh, Johnny Cashed. Um, it was a good time. Uh, we, we, we talked a lot about November, um, and uh, I, you know, this all kind of started, November is basically we're going to just... Uh, really dive into all things Wu Tang Clan. Uh, really, just take a whole month to appreciate the Wu Tang Clan, uh, their music, the movies and shit that they've done, um, uh, and, and some of their like philosophy too. I guess yeah, and, the and message they have to say. Right. Uh, you're gonna start watching some kung fu movies. Uh, kind of look at some of their influences and stuff. So all month long. Woovember, it's all about Wu Tang and wellness here at PCP. Yeah, all about uh, what self bettering. Yeah, yeah, definitely bettering of self. Yeah, uh, for sure. Yeah, I guess I guess this all started because we were watching. Um, if if you guys haven't seen it yet, on Hulu, Wu Tang and American Saga. Oh, for sure, that was great. I'm glad I watched it. I'm glad you had me start watching it with you. Oh, for sure. I'm I mean, jealous you've seen most of it twice. Yeah, I guess like half and then right. two thirds. It was great. I was uh, I was frustrated that there wasn't more Wu Tang. I guess maybe light spoilers. I don't know. We're not. We won't get too far into it. But like they by the end of it, I don't know. It's just it was cool over those two episodes to just watch them form like Voltron. Right. It was dope. Oh, uh, it was like cool to see everyone's like backstory. Right. More in depth. I didn't mind that they weren't really the group throughout the season, just because. Right. I enjoyed it, but every time it, perspectives and everything like that. Yeah, and a lot of it's pretty interesting. A lot of stuff I didn't know um, about some of how I, I would love to look more into the whole Raekwon Ghostface Killer um, beef. You know, oh, like sure. how how they were kind of enemies back in the day. The same with uh, Method Man too. With Ray Kwan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. They had beef. You know, shift bit. positions. Shift positions. Oh. Not the microphone out. Try not to. Yeah, it was really good. I really liked the guy who played Rizza. I think he was a good choice. I liked all of them. I, I did too. You I really like Ghostface Ka. This was one of my favorites. True. The show, the show grew on me uh, more and more with each episode. And some of them were really, they did a lot of stylistic things that were really cool. Uh, the episode 8. 
that was a good episode where uh, they shoot the music video. Oh yeah, the whole thing's done and like it, all these segments that look like they're done in one take, if not actually done in one take. Uh, I don't know. It was, it was a cool episode. Oh, for sure. It was cool to see the progression of everybody. Um, I liked that they didn't tell you who was who. You know that you had to kind of figure that out on your own. Like yeah. if you did, if you're not familiar with the Wu Tang Clan, it, it, you'd have to do some digging. You know, for sure, because uh, it doesn't just like go out there and say it. they make references mm -hmm. for sure, but they don't just flat out be like, oh. Right. This is who they are. Uh, so, there, I think in that last episode with Dennis, when he was watching, uh, what was it, The 36th Chamber? Is that what he was watching? I think I was watching uh, Wu-Tang vs. Shaolin. That's right. He was watching Wu-Tang vs. Uh, Shaolin. Or, it was one of them. Well, he was, yeah, he was watching Wu-Tang vs. Shaolin at one point. Yeah. But anyways, when, when he was watching the Kung Fu movies, like, like, the way they were dubbed was like, the way that uh, you know, like that he heard them, like he was right. translating it in his own way, you know, uh, putting the words into their mouths. Like so, we watched Thirty Six Chamber of Shaolin the other night, and it was kind of the same deal in a way. It's like we kind of had to interpret it because it's like I, I know you. I think you're the same way. I prefer the original, like Japanese audio with subtitles. Just give oh, me the subtitles. Sure. I, I can't stand English dubs, man. I can't do it. I know some people prefer it. They don't like reading, but it's like, give me the subtitles. Like yeah. it just throws me off, man. It really does, because sometimes the translations just don't come out very well, either. Like on the American dubs, like how they phrase certain sentences is just like hard to listen to. It's just like, why would you? <laughs> why word would you that? say that? <laughs> why would you word it that way? It don't make sense to me. It's like. Um, Oh, I was losing my train of thought. What were we talking about? Oh, we were talking about the dubs. The dubs, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, and then that was another thing. Like, we had to, it, it, like, uh, we had the English subtitles on, but it was only English dub. And so, th everything that they're saying, like, the English dub and the English subtitles didn't match up either. So, it's like, we had to just kind of make our own, like, yeah. interpretation of it. And so, I thought that was a really cool scene, like, especially coming off of watching that movie. Um... Uh, I don't know. I just thought it was... Uh, it was pretty cool. I was like, that's kind of interesting. Every part in the show where it starts to give you... Anytime, like, I don't know, some people might think it's corny, but, like, every time, like, they drop a Wu-Tang line or, like, something that's just, like, an just obvious like reference to a lyric or something like that, like, I eat that shit up. They did. They made a whole movie on that, something like that with the Beatles that across the universe, I eat that shit up. I love shit like I that. I mean, it's that just movie. like... We just base all this shit off of lyrics too, but it's like the true story. I don't know. I really dug it's it. It's cool. Yeah, I always. It's like it was. There all these kind of. There's like the fantasy element to it that builds it like this. Like, I don't know. Like these kung fu movies that they like. We all the like all these styles that they. I don't know. It makes a lot of sense for a Wu Tang show. You know. Yeah. They did a, they did a good job with it. I'm real excited to see the story continue. I'm glad. I'm glad it's not a limited series. I'm glad they're kind of like taking their time with it and building it out. I think it's a. a it was a. It, it still is a story worth telling. I oh, can't wait sure. to see where they go with it. So yeah, let's talk. Let's talk a little bit more about the. Thirty six chamber man. Uh, like the movie. The movie. The movie. Thirty six chamber of Shaolin. Well, I thought it was great. It was life changing for you. I think it might have been. Uh, it's still, still pending. It's still sinking. It's in. still pending. I think if like the more I sit on this, um, I'm still the message is still kind of settling in with me. Like I don't know. I think there's a lot to learn about discipline in that movie. And I've I've said this a million times in the past 24 hours that uh, that's something we could work on. Oh, know, for sure. Both of us for sure. Like we're getting a little better with the with the podcasts. Um, you know being strict about that but there's so much that it's like right. you know and I'm thinking like about uh, you're breaking it up into chambers uh, and stuff like that now you know like how he, he trained one little thing at a time to uh, to achieve this bigger goal right and uh, baby steps really and I just think that's a really cool lesson and to see how hard he goes at it is just downright fucking inspiring like I have never in my life wanted something so bad you know what I mean like I've right. never like I say I do but I've never set myself 
to anything like that before. Like, like that mentality where right. it's like maybe that's... some things, like maybe like a few times in my life, like without really realizing it, but right. uh, to intentionally put myself through this like rigorous training, you know, right. like to completely give yourself mm -hmm. to something like that. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It was great. The fight sequences were really awesome. Uh, the story was really cool. Uh, and the character progression of the main character was really dope. Yeah, you watched him transform. Yeah. Uh, the time, what, like, se I think seven years passes throughout the movie? I think so. Uh, a lot happens. A you lot know, he, yeah. he achieves a lot in seven years' time. Sets records. Uh, just a real go-getter. Oh, you for know. sure he is. He was determined. He had a goal set in mind. He was gonna let nothing stop him. I, uh, I don't know. I I know that I started reading uh, the Riz's book, right? Right. Um, and I'll probably I'll keep. I'll, hopefully, I'll have it finished by the time we do the next the next show, and you can start reading it. Right. But like, I feel like a lot of uh, what he talks about is like is the wisdom. So because he's um, uh, I don't know. It's all, it's a lot of Buddhist stuff. I, uh. I know you started watching uh, Buddha oh, yeah, recently the, on Netflix. The, what is that? Like the Indian uh, show about Buddha's life? Yeah. Uh, how's that going, man? It's uh, it's actually really interesting because that is all in whatever language you speak, and then you just have to read the subtitles. Well, or I'm wrong, and it's in English. <laughs> but I just turn it down and just read subtitles. Cause oh, right. For the effect. Yeah. I hear enough to get the sound and everything, but... Right, right. Um, no, it's pretty cool, because it's showing, like, just lessons that he's been learning and, like, showing his progression from being a prince going to become Buddha is mm -hmm. cool, so it's fun watching the lessons and hearing some of, like, the things that like, his yeah. guru taught him and everything like that, and just seeing some of the stories that you know happened with Buddha is pretty cool so I'm really that's really interesting I'm really glad to I'm glad you're watching, watching it you know I'm yeah. glad you kind of found a way in because you know I've been doing this for a couple of years now right uh, you've been talking about it it's uh it's good stuff I'm not I, I you know I don't want to push it on anybody but the world would be a better place you know uh, if we all just got on board on board with Buddhism that's all I want for sure uh, I mean even with anything just being anything really just yeah person. just being spirit it doesn't even have to be Buddhism yeah that's what I'm right. that's where I'm fucking up here it's not even Buddhism it's, it's just, just spirituality like it's the just, healthy spirit chat uh, because they all have the same similar message you know like right they all say mind body thing, spirit you yeah. know like yeah. or even that like even oh like the no, message yeah. that like religions you know push is like all mm -hmm. pushing to be that you know a nice Right. loving person don't everybody, do yeah. wrong you know everybody's basically saying the same thing in a different way yeah it's yeah, just yeah, yeah. how you have to receive the message I guess you know mm -hmm. so, it doesn't uh, sometimes you just have to hear something from somebody all the time you know my mom's favorite line is uh, I've told you that a billion times you know and you hear it from one other person and it's like it just clicks with you you're like oh, damn that's uh, that's profound and you know mom's over there like well, what the hell? You know, I've been saying the same thing. It's like you, sometimes you just gotta get it from anywhere. Uh, in the the Riza's book, he says something about uh, like Christianity and comic books and kung fu movies and, and just all of that. Uh, right. They all hold truth. You know, it's like there's every you can learn from anybody. Anybody can be a teacher, uh, no matter how old or how young. Um, and it's just like you gotta want to learn. You know. Uh, that's another thing uh, that he was talking about. Uh, the best teachers are people who still want to learn. Right. Yeah. For sure. I know we're 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 big knowledge guys. We like uh, we like just knowing things. You know, it's just. Oh, that's great. Yeah, knowledge is knowledge is awesome. Knowledge is power. It is, especially uh, uh, in playing chess. Oh, for sure. Yep. Uh, yep. Phil just taught me how to play chess, like, uh, not even a week ago. Um, it's been an interesting progression. Heck yeah. It's fun. It's always fun to strategize and move move pieces and do all the calculating and everything mm -hmm. like that. It's great. It's awesome. I love it. I've always loved chess. 
I've known how to play, I think, since like, mm, I don't know. I want to say around like 9 or 10. I think that's when I learned. Wow. I w I've definitely been sleeping on chess. I know you tried to teach me way back in like high school once and it just so. it just didn't take I just it wasn't, just wasn't in the good. zone for it I, I just wasn't ready it. but this time like the very first time we said I was thinking it was going to take forever to learn and that's you, pretty and simple it was very simple and you just uh, we got to it just like that and uh, I'm glad that you don't take it easy on me you, you know? can't you just can't do it that's not that's not how you learn I've lost like what eleven games now. I'm not even really keeping track. I haven't either. It's like I don't know. It could be seven, seven to eleven, something right. like that. Somewhere in that range. Yeah. But it's all it's all learning. It's you're all good, man. Again, you're that's why better. you're chess master Phil. Chess master Phil. I'm not that good, guys. Don't worry. We'll take forever. I forgot to throw out those W's earlier. Oh, for sure, November. We'll get them. My we'll get bad. November. November, man. That's gonna be coming at them all month. That's what it is. Wu Tang and wellness, man. We gotta, we gotta start setting up these chambers, Phil. We gotta set up the chambers that we are gonna take on uh, one at a time. I know, like, th there's gonna be a dietary chamber, right? Because you know we're working on like easing our way into healthier eating habits and like being vegan is the goal, you know. Right, for sure. Uh, exercising is another one, and then like I know, I know, I got I told you, I gotta work on my wrist and ankle strength. That's uh. Everybody's weak. Yeah. Shit's weak. Um. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Oh, no. Chase lost it. He, uh, I got the list again. You, we're talking about our chambers. That's right. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, for Do you sure. have any chambers? Um, yes, I do, actually. I'm glad that you said something because I almost forgot. Uh, quitting smoking is a chamber for me. That's something that I'm going to have to overcome. True. Rigorous training. That's why, yeah. that's why I want to trade in the pack of cigarettes for the pull-up bar. So that way, instead of smoking, I can just do pull-ups. Converting your energy elsewhere. For you sure. Know. That's that's what you're Trading one do. addiction for another. Just to exactly. into the health and You fitness. have to train your body to form different habits, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's why I'm excited about the pull-up bar. Hell yeah! You gotta take yeah, you take that negative energy and you just you you gotta you gotta put it into something more productive. Because then when you're sure. feeling better, then I will see the progression. You know, mm -hmm. as I keep working out and all that good stuff. So I'm very yeah. excited. I told you I am so sick of just feeling like uh, discomfort Shit. in my body all the time. And uh, I you know we talked about it on the radio last night. We uh, since we do the video podcasting, like there's no hiding. People can tell whether we're doing it or not. You know. Right. Look at this. I've come unbuttoned. You've come unbuttoned. I've come unbuttoned. How embarrassing. <laughs> Turn that camera off. Turn that camera off. We're no more video podcasting for film chase. But yeah, I get what you're saying. Like, you have to put your money where your mouth is now. Right. For me, like, what are y'all doing? Woo. Not bettering ourselves. Right. We have to. We got to stick to it. Um, uh, what are some of your other chambers? Um diet I think well we yeah. really talked about um, you can expand on it yeah. really just the whole veganism thing really want to get into it I'm excited I've been watching a bunch of different documentaries on it and stuff I've been on board for you have been about like almost a year now I feel like That's and true. I just haven't fully committed into the diet I always blame it's where I'm at, like, oh, well, I can't right. just get my own stuff and just Wuvember do it that way. Wuvember is going to be uh, really less excuses, waiting. less excuses in Wuvember. Yes, we're going to start putting action behind these words. I'm excited. That's right. I'm pumped. It's like chess, you know, we've got to calculate. Oh, for mm -hmm. sure. Meditating and stuff. Mm -hmm. the last year. Uh, do you have anything more to add about uh, veganism? Uh, well, do what you need. Do you have any? Just anything? Any thoughts on on this journey into veganism, or uh, or or the whole Buddhism thing? Or, I mean, uh, how are you feeling about all that? Um, I'm excited. I'm a little upset. We didn't go to uh, the to the, to the Zen Center today. I almost yeah. thought about just walking 
And just then you would, yeah. doing it without me. That definitely would have inspired me to go. But I uh, figured, but if I if you saw that I was like up and I was like about to walk out the door, you're like you know what, I'll go to that. Right, right, right. I even set my alarm for seven thirty. It you went did? off. I was up, and then I didn't even set an alarm. I was so serious last night when I said no. And that's so sad because I, I it, even it, that's it why I said hurt, something on the radio. Then, and I was like, damn. I was like, yeah. Because we were talking about uh, even like with the 36 Chambers of Shetland, how you know he was up all night training. Mm-hmm. And we said we we're about to be about that. And you're like, well, it's one o'clock. It's right? Like, oh, one o'clock in the like, morning. Well, it's time for bed. It's like, yeah, I can't I'm, stay up all night training. I have to sleep. Exactly. <laughs> like, damn. What we just talked about on the fucking show. But it happens. We'll get there. Next Sunday, no excuses. Yes, we'll next sure Sunday. Uh, because, you know, tomorrow there's no excuses, right? For sure. We got to go to the open mic uh, and do and do stand-up. I'll have to get my jokes in order. Yeah. We really have to get our shit together so we can... Because we can't. We can't put it off every week, man. We can't... Right. Uh, it's just one of those things where it's just like I've been... I just want, that that thing right there is two chambers about. in and of itself. Is it not to achieve our Sunday and Monday goal of like committing ourselves to these things right. we're talking about we're exercise it's all it's all going to be about time management you know it's all going to have to be like uh, uh I thought you said scheduling a little bit right. you know uh, because uh, you know the main excuse that people give is like oh well I don't have enough time and that's just it's simply not true Phil right. you know uh, everybody uh, you always have the time uh I don't know. I, I'm gonna go off on one of my social media tangents, and I don't. I don't need to. It's a waste right. of time. Well, because I mean, even with social media aside, though, I mean, other people gonna be putting time towards something that they don't always necessarily need to either. Like you can still make the time, even if you do have social media and you do something else, even more so. That's time wasteful. You can always mm-hmm. cut that out, even if it isn't just like a social media rant. About people just spending oh, yeah, too much yeah. time on Facebook or just, whatever. Yeah, too much time <coughs> doing anything, like, unhealthy, you know what I mean? Right. Like, if you're going to dedicate, or you, when you say, oh, I don't have the time for these things, it's like, well, what are you doing right now that's just, like, a distraction? What, like, something that's just like, oh, well, if I didn't do this every day, I'd have a lot of time on my hands. Like, when I quit Facebook, dude, I had so much time on my hands. I was like, well, what the fuck do I do now? You right. know? And uh, that's when I started... I started reading more books, you know, I started watching more movies, I started, which, uh, you know, to some people, they could be like, oh, well, that's a distraction. It's like, well, no, that's what I want to be doing with my time, you know, it's like, so it's whatever you want to do with your time, you can't say, oh, I don't have the time to do these things, like, uh, because you absolutely do, you know, and I think November, we've kind of personally set up a lot of challenges uh, to become better at that, you know. Oh, for sure. I'm excited to I'm to write them down to we'll, really start crossing them off. Make and, a schedule, right? Uh, you know, I think if we put it in a, in our site, it'll be a little easier to uh, uh, to visualize. Yeah, you can actually see it there instead of mm-hmm. just thinking about it. We'll have to do that after this, for sure. After I go on pull up bar. After you get the pull up bar, yeah. Is that the whole November list, or is that um, just... Pretty much, but uh, there was one thing that we need to jump back to, because uh, we've been talking a lot about uh, wellness and our wellness goals, uh, but uh, we're here for uh, Wu-Tang as well. Yes, we are. And um, so, you know, so far we've, we've celebrated by... I mean, basically, where this all started was like a couple months ago, honestly. Like, I... Started listening to what is Enter the Wu Tang Thirty Six Chamber. Yeah, uh, was listening to it in my car, and I ended up listening to that fucking CD for two solid months straight, like just two solid months straight. And then uh, that spawned me into listening to like uh, the '90s hip hop playlist on Spotify, right. and I've just had that on repeat. And it's like I've come to learn that uh, it, when somebody asks me what my favorite genre of music is, it's like it's rap. It's definitely rap. Like it's just it's fucking beautiful. It's it's such it really great is. music. Like you know, sometimes like some of the more like commercial stuff, like some of the shit that like my youngest sister is into and stuff, like doesn't appeal to me. But the like the lyricists and like some of the like beats and everything, like just fucking speak to me, man. I 
I love it, and especially like '90s hip hop, and like right. you know, Wu Tang Clan is so fucking influential, and like they changed the whole fucking game up, man. You know, and uh, you know, we used to listen to Thirty Six Chambers back in the day. Like, I, you're the one that got me onto this, and right. like we'd listen to it in the old beat up Ford Taurus all the fucking time, and like. <sighs> Just bump that shit. The fucking panels of your car were about to rattle off. Like it was is great. And it's Back like when it's, I had a car radio. And uh, you that know, was like the last time. <laughs> right, that was the very last time we blew out uh, all radios in time for your cars. Well, no, because the Pathfinder had car radios because I'd plug my phone up into it, but it only lasted for a couple months or whatever, right? However long. Um, and then the Kia didn't. I have really not done that thing for years. But we did bump some Wu Tang in that Kia. We did it yeah, with a portable they, speaker. Of course, I get the Bluetooth you speaker. You gotta figure it out somehow. I went to a few of those too. But yeah, no, yeah, Wu Tang has always been great. I'm pretty sure Derek is the one who showed me Wu Tang. Because so, I kind of started on 90s rap when mm-hmm. I first started getting into rap too, but I listened to like more Biggie, like NWA. And right, right. Wu Tang was definitely Wu-Tang different was, than the other stuff, like Biggie yeah. and and, and uh, oh, for sure. all that stuff. Like for sure, um, I know my mom had like a '90s hip hop CD. It was just like one of those CDs that's like a now that's what I call music sort right. of deal. Uh, had some solid stuff on it. Uh, Tribe Called Quest, like LL Cool J, and it's like all this stuff that like I was exposed to and I listened to and like I I enjoyed it and stuff like growing up. Um, but like RZA talks about it in his book about how there's the uh, what it was it? truth bears no fruit if it's out of season you right. know uh, it, um, it there's a time and a place for all sorts of knowledge like the things that you're supposed to learn and I think that Wu-Tang was is definitely one of those things and 90s hip hop in general like uh, I enjoyed it I've always loved it but I have now gotten to an age where I appreciate it right. Um and it's it's definitely like it's been an influential thing on both of us I think for like de- decades at this point you know um, yeah I guess uh, just about yeah decades um, is crazy yeah but yeah I've just kind of like so putting that CD back in after all those years and like just not being able to stop listening to it it's just because like I'm, I'm finally at an age where like I, I can appreciate it you know and I fucking love it man like the, I, I, I always loved it but now it's just like no 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 like Enter the Wu-Tang is the fucking album you know which I'm I am very glad that through November we're gonna be listening to more Wu-Tang music because I'm ready you know I've tried listening to other Wu-Tang stuff outside of 36 Chambers before and I didn't care for it you know right you um, just weren't ready and I just I don't, just don't think I was ready for it and now like we've been listening to it a little bit the past few days <clears throat> and uh Shit's fucking fire. Like, I don't know why I ever, uh, I, I couldn't appreciate it. I, I couldn't appreciate it at the time, you know? For sure. I felt the same way as I've tried before. But I think I tried to listen to the newer stuff and I just wasn't, wasn't expecting it, I guess. Coming off right, of right. 36 Chambers, you know, and they'll be like, oh, what did they make in 2008 or whatever, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. So. And they do a lot of, like, side stuff too with indie artists and I know right. I think they did something called Black Rock with uh, uh, the Black Keys at one point um, that which was pretty cool I had listened to that at one point losing it? yeah uh oh there's a lot of that going on right now <laughs> quit space 36 Chambers had so many good lines in it too oh for sure like, uh, you know we go around fucking singing this the, these songs all the time so they're at the end of the show when they were like they finally put Protect Your Neck together like the way it, it formed like Voltron man it just like it was oh cool. my god it, it was, was awesome fantastic I, I had this dopey little smile on my face like for the so whole episode giddy. like I was just like <laughs> it's happening they're, they're the Wu-Tang and then like oh it's just like you, you you guys gotta watch it it's an emotional roller coaster it's pretty crazy to see it's, everything unfold the way it does it's great what are, what, are, what are some of your thoughts on, on 36 Chambers, Phil? Um, one of my favorite rap albums, for yeah, sure. For sure. Like, hands down, since day one. Um, I feel like I've always just 
appreciated it more like as I got older like it's never lost any of its mm-hmm. appeal to me like I've always appreciated it like because so, some albums you know like there's some music where you listen to it and like oh uh, well right. you, you kind of get burnt out, out but like yeah. there's never a time or like a Wu Tang song comes on that like from, especially from that album that I was like oh maybe not like it's always a good listen every time it's true uh the sound effects in it man I love it like uh and not just like the set the kung fu stuff but like uh just some of the noises they're making you know throughout it like right. Sue, and like uh, you know all that stuff that was probably terrible can't hit those high notes bro um Black. Uh, but I know we talked about uh, uh, putting together a Wu-Tang video game that was like 8-bit and using the sound bites from 36 Chambers like uh, you play as Method Man right before you attack it's like alright get your math and he like jumps in for the attack and like uh, every time uh, you know a punch lands blah 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 it'd be funny as hell you got like, the ray gun uh, Super. Just knock out a whole row. Killer people. bees. You're playing as a RZA, just like <sighs> a killer swarm. bees swarm down on them. That's yeah, funny. It'd be like Wu Tang take over Mario. True, right? That'd be cool. Go speak to Killer on some. Now you see me. Now you don't. And he <laughs> phases back and forth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, funny. Uh, we found out the other day though that uh, there w- there is a Wu-Tang video game already. I haven't looked farther into this game so I don't like know what it was like. I know that you said all of them were mostly on uh, uh, Def the Jam. Def Jam fighting game. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which I vaguely remember. But I don't I've know. never played it. I've only seen like clips from Facebook and stuff. Right. So it's a shame. Yeah. I was like I would I would play it. I think I played pretty, it at one point. That'd be pretty cool. Um I I can't remember what the Wu Tang game was called, uh, uh, but we did find out uh, what is today the fourth or fifth or something. Yeah, uh, today's the third now. actually. Today's the third. So uh, four four days ago um, on Halloween, it was the twentieth uh, anniversary of that Wu Tang game. As it turns out, we found yeah. that out by chance. Uh, but I still I still like the eight bit. Uh, uh, old school arcade uh, 36 chambers game Everybody. you gotta play you can play as all the Wu-Tang characters and you work your way through the 36 chambers that'd be pretty cool 35 chambers so that you can set up your 36 yeah that's how that goes I, I'm getting that twisted you got to you ahead of yourself right you gotta become the abbot of the 36 chamber that's the whole goal of the, the game Heck yeah. You have to master the first 35, and you play as all the Wu-Tang members. And then you fight the bad guys. I'm going to have to write an email every... That's going to be a thing, I guess. Like, You're every time I get up to go write an email. all these ideas. It's like, uh, give us a sponsorship already. Like, give us give us some money, people, so that we can start producing all of these fantastic ideas. Get all the... Our Wu-Tang game. And that's what it's called, too. That's the title of it. Wu-Tang game. Uh... Wu-Tang Enter the 36th chamber. <laughs> the, our final destination six, the cruise ship movie. Yeah, the cruise ship. Um, movie. I don't even remember what the first email was. That was I, th- I thought that was it. Weeks ago. No, whatever uh, the episode one email was about. Oh, couldn't see tell episode you. one. <laughs> see episode one. I can't believe I never did this earlier in life, but we finally did the Wu Tang name generator. And uh, it's no bullshit. I put our names in several times, and it comes up the same thing every single time. Uh, that's not to say maybe other people get the same thing sometimes, but uh, so here's what it was for us. Uh, Phil's Wu-Tang name is Sir Slashing. <laughs> Sir Slashing. I love yours. Yours is dope as fuck. You do love mine. Sir but Slashing. have it. But my own Wu-Tang name... Uh, is General Brave, and you should accept it for what it is. I'm the I'm the I'm the leader. I'm General Brave. I'm the lead us into battle, Phil. Although I don't think Sir Slashing, Sir Slashing, aka Chessmaster Phil, because he's always calculating, always oh. seeing that next move, <laughs> always waiting to make his move. Just be your right hand man. Always five steps ahead of his <laughs> opponent. <laughs> 
Not good film hunting. We talked about the the stats when we when we die. If we could get a statistic sheet of all the stats in our life, and uh, one of the the achievements that I want, one of the trophies I'd like to achieve in life is like getting as many nicknames for Phil as possible. <laughs> He has so many already, and so thank you Wu Tang Clan for uh, giving us Sir Slashing, and inspiring Chess Master Phil. Inspiring Chess Master. So that's two more, Phil. File. A file. Fildo. Three. Filter. Filter. Filbert. Oh yeah, fallopian tubes. Fallopian tubes. Uh, Blazing Hazen. Did yeah. I say file? Yeah. Mm. The first one you said. Philly. Philly the Broyo, did I say the full? No, I don't Philly. Think so. um, Big Philly style. Big Philly style. I used to go by Flip a little bit. When I was flip, younger. that's right. Uh, we recently learned Pip, South Park. Uh, is an acceptable people like Nobody PJ. calls you that. PJ, that's right. That's oh, right, because you're a junior. That's right. Old school. People love that one, Peach. Peach, that's right. Yeah. Peach, yep. Yep. Maybe other thing. ones. I'm sure there are. There's so many. But, know. uh... It's hard to think of all of them on the spot. Well, you've gotten a lot. We, we, we knocked out quite a few. I'll have to... Sir Slashing. Put, uh, put up, like, a number count. count. <clears throat> I'm telling you, when we die, our statistic sheet, it's gonna be, like... That's worth living, right there. I see, to see my stats at the end? I should Nerdy kept, as fuck, bro. I should have kept track of how many times I beat you in chess now. <clears throat> It'll be on the card. You just, I just get to see at the end, like, you be chased this many times in these things. I'd, I'd also like to see that stat. I'd like to see that stat for everyone, though. Like, how I how many times you beat all my friends. Is that narcissistic to just want to, like, when you die, your heaven is just looking back on your life? Like, <laughs> you're, just, you're just constantly watching clips of your own shit. It's like, oh, I remember this. This is a good time. <laughs> this is a good one. This is a bad time. This is a bad time. <laughs> I clicked on the wrong one. <sighs> yeah, you should just want to move forward. Um, I have no idea how long we've been talking at this point. Not long um, enough. You think so? It's probably not been as long as I think. Probably not. I don't know. It's probably about it's, two hours. It's probably only been like thirty minutes. Maybe and now just like, we uh, we've definitely we, we did we did the cut. list again. If you didn't already see this in the frame, there's no way to uh, count now. You held it up at one point. Oh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, we pretty and much we've pretty much uh, we've hit the list. We've we've done a lot of it. We, unless we you have thoughts we on any remember. of these other things, uh, but uh, we're not quite done yet, Phil. No, this well because it's only the third day in November. We've, oh, right, we've right. only begun to scratch the surface on everything that we're about to be about. So this last mm -hmm. November is going to be crazy. Everything's going to be coming together. Oh, it's true. It's going to be all a build up to one, one thing, a recap of everything we've learned and went through over the month. Yeah, there's going to be a lot to catch up on for sure. There's, you know, that's exactly, this is the first of, of our four Woovember episodes. This is just kind of like scratching the surface. And it's like, it's not that we've run out of Wu-Tang things to talk about. We've just, uh, we've just scratched the surface. There's just so much more to go. Right. That we're about to, uh, you know, after this, we're about to get down on uh, several more Kung Fu movies uh, that kind of inspired uh, Wu-Tang music. We're going to be listening to... Uh, we'll have to listen to like full albums. Right, I think we're going to do the next two albums in their discography after 36 Chambers. We'll just take them in order. Uh, of the, what did I say, seven or eight that they have? Is it eight? Maybe. I think so. Watch some of the, uh, the movies if that uh, Wu-Tang Clan members are involved in. Uh, Method Man and Riz... Oh, it's you mostly finally watch Repo Man. Finally. I did see that uh, Rizzo was in that. RZA and Method Man are like the the top two Wu Tang members that have like done movies. I feel like now we have to watch Coffee and Cigarettes because it's the only thing I can think of that Jizz is in. It's it's RZA and Jizz. It, it's like a movie that's broken into segments. Uh, the White Stripes are in one of the segments too, I believe. But one of the segments is uh, RZA, Jizza, and Bill Murray um, having a conversation. It's like all black and white in this coffee shop and shit like. It was interesting. Uh, one of those movies that I watched at the time that uh, I feel like I would appreciate more now. 
I'll have to check it out then. Excited to watch Ghost Dog for the first time. No, uh, of course, uh, me neither. Uh, the Wackness with uh, Josh Peck and Method Man. Method Man. That's funny. Uh, I'm excited to show you Afro Samurai. I oh. hope we can fit that in. I, we can't. Well, we can because uh, we always have enough time. Yeah, so there's a lot more, and then, uh, like you're saying, we gotta keep them posted on uh, our our chambers, right. uh, our progress. We'll have to break down into 36 chambers. Get like a full list going. Hell yeah! Uh, we'll keep everybody up to date on the progress. Uh, so, Phil. Oh, it's my favorite time. It's your favorite time. We did this to you. We we hit you hard <laughs> with it last night on the radio show. Uh, Aaron uh, fucked you. He, he gave you a real hard one there on live radio. Uh, top five underrated artists. Go. Damn, I, I, I don't do you that hard. Uh, uh, until today. But he you persevered you. and you gave a list. You I gave did. a top five. Do you want to, do you care to repeat the top five? Do no, you remember it? If they didn't catch it then. <laughs> if they didn't catch it, it was an exclusive. We'll, we'll. If we get a hold of the, the stuff, you should have been listening last night. You should yeah, have been listening. They wanted to hear what they thought. That's all give them incentive to check you it out. It. You weren't, you weren't meant to hear it. You weren't meant to. You, it's not time for that knowledge. Uh, missed the boat. I ain't going back for him. Okay, so uh, because we hit you with so many and then with such uh, varying difficulty levels last night, uh, I want to give you an easier one. You don't have to. No, I want to. Okay, go for it. Um, it's Phillip, the hardest one yet. What is Philip Hazen's top five most anticipated things in November? Oh, geez, so you didn't make it hard. Um, <laughs> no. I think going to the, like, Zen Center or whatever, that's why I'm, I'm real excited for that. I'm pumped. I wanted to go the past two weekends, so we haven't. So I'm real excited to go. I disappoint myself next often. week. I do too, so I don't feel too bad. Um, secondly, uh, getting in better shape. I'm excited for the physical mm. wellness portion of it all. I'm real excited to really delve into that and try to submerge myself into getting in shape and. Doing that, I'm real. That's up there for me. Yeah. Um, same with the diet. I'm mm -hmm. excited to really try to get vegan. Uh, get vegan uh, get a go. go yeah. You know, just really try to. I need to start put, watching put those myself, documentaries with you because I know that they they kick me into gear. They would. Exactly. I need to educate would. myself. That's what it's all about. It's all about knowledge. For sure. November. And it's always nice. And like I like watching the different documentaries because it kind of. Uh, you start kind of hearing the same thing from like different people, like you right. just get and then you're like, people. "Well, oh, okay, there might be some weight to this." Right. I find like with the Buddha stuff, I uh, I find that when I practice it myself, I, you know, I get the results. So I'm like, "Oh shit, this works. This actually works." Like when you give it a try, you know, right. like, uh, and I know that veganism would be the same way. Like, yeah. you just got to do it. You know, you start feeling better. So it's what three. Um, three, I think four would be the Kung Fu movies. I'm pretty I'm happy real excited about, about that. Well. And then five would be the music. The music, absolutely. Like, yeah, the five I things that we were supposed to be about is what I'm excited for, so that's great. That's great. You're, you're excited for, <laughs> for... Everything we're supposed to be doing, I'm excited Collectively, for. you're excited for Movember. That's, it, it, uh... That's, uh... That was easy. Thanks, that was man. more like a Phil. A Phil, dunk. Phil breaks down the top five things of Wuvember and why he's excited for and them. why he's excited for them. Well, that was a good top five. Thank, Thank you. you. No problem. Knocks Thank the you. mic over. <laughs> Chessmaster Phil. Chessmaster Phil. Uh, this has been real. So uh, I'm uh, I'm General Brave. I'm Sir Slashing and uh, AKA Phil. AKA Phil. AKA Nah. I ain't doing this. <laughs> Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll we'll keep you guys posted with uh, more Wuvember stuff as we as we go along. Uh, I hope you guys participate. Uh, help us along the way. Maybe we'll have some special guests this month. Um, 
and uh, feel free to uh, to I don't know start a dialogue below. Give us some health tips. Give us some uh, uh, if anybody out there is vegan. Give us some diet tips. Some good vegan dishes. Right. Uh, we'll want. just hit you with a lot of discussion points all at once. Uh, uh, exercises, uh, yoga for real. You got good yoga like uh, for beginners. Send it our way. We'll take it. Because uh, Movember is all about uh, uh, Wu Tang and wellness. So, right. so that's what we're about to be about. So happy, uh, happy, oh, well, happy Movember, everybody. Wu Tang forever. <laughs> Wu Tang forever. Oh, I never hit record. That's funny. I'd be so mad. I wouldn't do it again.